Welcome to an episode of Kerbal Space Program 2. No, only kidding. It's not out yet. So the reason I'm playing a lot of Kerbal is because something I really liked about this game was how everything explains and everything, but I missed the multiplayer element. But Kerbal Space Program 2 has multiplayer, I've been told. Which means all of this experience and learning of rocket science and all that shizness, sh sh <laughs> I'll be able to use the multiplayer. But in the meantime, we're making things. I'm so pleased with this ship. I spent a bit of time on this. Spend a bit of time, and here we have Arc 2. Look at this majestic beauty. Ah, oh, that's a lot of rocket, isn't it? <laughs> Look at this beautiful thing. Oh, what surprises do we have in store? <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, jeez. Got too excited. So excited I burped. Right. We've got to man it. We've got to get everyone on board. Uh, and then we need to launch it and see how we get on. But I just need to just get the crew on. And then we need to look into uh, everything else. So in the in the spirit of Kerbal, uh, hitchhiker storage container. So engineers, you know what? Yeah, all engineers, that's fine. Hitchhiker scientists. Actually, let's mix this up a little bit. Let's go two scientists, two engineers. And oh, no, I'm going to sneeze. <laughs> sorry about that, headphone users. I did say I'm going to sneeze before I sneeze. I'm so sorry. Engineer, engineer, uh, scientist, pilot, just in case. Uh, right, next one we've got engineer. Engineers are like filler, you know? You don't need them, just fill them out. Okay, crew cabins, we have, uh, yeah, sure, engineers, yada, 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 yada. Uh, crew cabins, we've already got some pilots going on. Let's just... Uh, Make sure that the command pods have pilots and scientists. No, you get out. Pilot. Yes. In there. Thank you. No. Okay, we're going to have to do this somehow other way. All right, engineer. Engineer. We got a crew cabin. Scientist. Pilot. Engineer. Pilot. We're fully manned. <laughs> Apologies if you hear Discord pings. I'm in a chat channel. I'm muted, but people will be coming and going. Uh, I didn't have the foresight of leaving that before the video. I do apologize. Do we have everything okay with the sound? I hope so. Yeah, okay. <laughs> now, I need to check my fruit thruster stages because it's been a few days since I used this. So I just need to make sure that I've got this figured out, okay? So let's have a look. Yep, stage one, stage one, stage one. You're not highlighted. I think you're these engines up here. Yeah, okay. Uh, stage. Yep, 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 and yep. Okay. So we've got everything we need for now. Let's save that and then go launch. The loading time now will be significant. <laughs> So yeah, oh, it's gonna be a little bit of a, a little bit of a wait because it is a very large spacecraft. I would love to find a way to optimize spacecraft because uh, they do get pretty complicated, especially when you want to launch the big things. And I suspect that when your skill level is high enough, that you'll be better at doing more with less. So you will be inclined to launch smaller aircraft or spacecraft. But I'm not at that point. I'm very much at the point of sacrificing lives for science and if in doubt more boost oh so it's a nighttime launch so we're gonna go rcs and i'm gonna go sas i'm gonna go max thrust and i'm gonna hit space <laughs> and we are off we are off arc 2 is a go for launch as you can see it's a very heavy rocket and I can't really turn it. If I turn it, I, I I think it can turn, but I haven't tested a launch with turning. All I've done is got I've got I know I can get this into the atmosphere, but just a little bit at a time, okay? <laughs> so we're now moving at 60 meters a second. We need to get a lot faster, but just a little bit at a time. So. Now that we have our engines, we need to check our stages. We have a little bit of time now between this and 
the next launch. So let's just have a little looky, shall we? I have to be careful with these stages. So let's have a look. Uh, you'll jettison those. You'll jettison those. Ah, right, okay. So I've got to be careful with how these disengage. So I'm going to create two sections of jettison here. So let's just have a little looky. Uh, no. No. I need these ones. Yes. Yes. So those two. Okay, good. So yeah, they will come off first. Good. I'm not at the point of firing other engines yet. What I want to do is I'll have the main sails firing because they will have more fuel than the boosters. But I just want to shed boosters when I can. The issue I'm really worried about is knocking off, knocking off an engine. That's what I'm really worried about. If I knock off an engine, it's a big problem. But we're not at that point. We're not at that point. <laughs> so we've got loads of solid fuel. How do you think I'm going to get on? Do you think I'm going to fail? Or do you think everything's going to be successful? <laughs> it's going to be just fine. We're going to be okay. But for now, we just need to... We just need to take it easy. Let's see how high up we are. Okay, so we're still quite low down. We're still in very heavy air. It's very dense. It's not light. I'm not going to try and maneuver. If anything, we're going really fast. Like, we've got this air friction, but it's straight up. I mean, we're okay. We're good. <laughs> we, we are. We're good. I really like this game. I really like the whole failing aspect, but it's been a little while since I've tasted success. I'll be honest. It's been a long time since I've managed to get some science back to the science place and a long time since I've been able to upgrade. And I guess that I don't have uh, some of the advanced technology, so maybe that's why I'm struggling to get out uh, to the further out places, but I think I'm making some headway. I am worried about space trash and about having too many ships flying around at once. I'm worried that that's somehow going to, like, slow down my map and stuff, and that's going to be a real issue. So, I am a little concerned about that. But, I mean, there's only... I mean, I'm not going to restart the science mode. I, I could go full creative, but I kind of like the frontier exploration like you've got to get out there to progress element so it just has to stay i guess i can't speed up time oh i can speed up time dare dare i speed up time should we try to oh okay that's really interesting i didn't know that i could do that so now we're going at two times speed. Those fuel, solid fuel boosters will just keep going. I'm not going to turn or try and do a rocket turn at all. I'm just going to go straight. I'm going to go straight up and out of orbit. And then I'll worry about the rest. That times two is really useful. But I dare not go times three. I dare not. Because I'm really worried that something will screw up. But these boosters have a lot of fuel in them. 550 meters per second. What's the speed of sound? Is it 600? I forget. Why don't you hear sonic booms? You know? Why don't you hear sonic booms? Let's check my fuel for my liquid engines. Load. Oh, hello. Now, I have to carry these engines. There's nothing I can do about these big tanks. I'm just carrying them. And as you can see, I'm still accelerating. But these bigger, bigger tanks... I'm just going to slow down my speed for a sec. Because maybe... Maybe I can do something about this. Maybe. Maybe I can do something about it. Okay, we're on times one. We're all good. Let's just go and have a look. Terrible time to do a nighttime launch. Let's see if we can see what engine this is. I mean, it's really under everything isn't it i'm i'm concerned about dropping it out we are still accelerating so 
I mean... I just don't even know how I would go about jettisoning it. And I think these larger tanks have solid fuel boosters attached. So... I'm not going to touch them. I'm not going to touch them. I'm just going to leave them be. And I don't think I can risk getting rid of those. So let's scroll back up. We're not jettisoning anything until we start running out of solid fuel. Once the solid fuel boosters run out, then we can do something. But we're still accelerating. No real issues. Now, I do have lights on, uh, on my spacecraft. But we can't turn them on just yet. We just got to wait for the solid fuel. And I'll start jettisoning some tanks. But we're doing good. We're still accelerating. Even with the extra engines not being used. And, and the empty tanks sitting on there. The extra weight. We're still accelerating. And that's really what I want. I want to still accelerate. <laughs> Does it sound like I'm really worried about this working? It's mostly because I am really worried about it working. And there's no guarantee that it's actually going to work. So... <laughs> Let's just take our time, heat up, <laughs> burst into flame and explode, and then we can say, you know, oh well. This is easily, this is one of the tensest times for me because I know I can get it into orbit, but I'm worried that I've forgotten something, and if I disengage in the wrong order, something will explode. So I must be careful about this. Can you, did you just hear auto shutdown initiated? Because my headphones talk to me. Did you hear that? Let me know. I'm very curious to know if that catches on the recording, but not interested enough to check. Okay. Solid fuel almost done, but we're not, we're not there yet. I'm pretty sure I can lose these boosters. I've got more boosters. Just saying, I've got more boosters that I can fire, but I just need to get these outer ones off first. And if I'm not mistaken, once they've come off, then I can take off these ones. Which means then I can boost, fire the other engines, the other boosters, which are these. What's that? What is that? I don't know what that's going to disengage, so I'm just going to go ahead and move that further up the chain. Go there. No, that's not why I wanted to move. And I also, I'm hearing low battery sounds. Oh, this is a really terrible time for this to happen. Really, really terrible time. Auto shutdown cancelled. Charging just, battery. Just. Okay. Right. So my solid fuel boosters are about to run out. Ah, cable. No. Uh, you go up here. If you're not gonna, if you're gonna complain about that. Okay, you go down here. This really isn't the time to be messing around with me. Go up there. No, not the engines. The decouple segment. Go up there. Good. Oh, honestly. Okay, right. Disengage. Whew. They came off. Excellent. Disengage the next ones. Oh, it worked. <laughs> okay. Oh, I'm hearing explosions. Oh, I've definitely lost some engines. Fire the main boosters. No. I clipped some engines. I think I've ruined my launch. I shouldn't have jettisoned those little ones. Oh, no. I'm going to cut the engines. I should have cut the engines and then fired the boosters. Get me to the pro grade. Come on. You can do this. You can get me to the pro grade. Oh, no. Come on. Get me. Get me turned around. It's just a minor flip. I can figure it out with less engines. As long as it can maintain its... Because I'm high up. It's just got to maintain its thrust. My thrust is even. So I've just got to hope that these mono propellant thrusters... I shouldn't have jettisoned that stage. Oh, I totally clipped some engines. Let's see if it can hold my position. 
Let's see if it can hold it. Because these are vector thrust as well. So hopefully this will get me back on track. Please get me back on track. Please, 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 please. Now stop turning. Ah, that's not good, is it? Ah, oh, no. It's struggling to get me in position. It's still going up. I'm just doing little flips. You can see that it's struggling to get me back into position. It's just not going to make it, is it? Oh, I'm so gutted that I've done that. How long have we been recording for? 15 minutes. Oh, should I revert the flight? I'm doing it. Revert flight, revert to launch. I'm just doing it. I'm just doing it. I'm just going to do it again. Just going to do it again. Oh, I'm kicking myself about releasing those second set of friggin' boosters. Why did I do that? I should have waited. I should have waited. I should have waited until I burned out all of the liquid fuel. That's what I should have waited for. Because I was still accelerating. I was still going straight up. Oh, I'm kicking myself. 15 minutes. Well, it will be all the better when it succeeds. That's what I'm hoping. Oh, man. How much storage space do I have? Oh, I got loads. I'll be fine. I'll be able to record a longer video. It's fine. It's worth it. Now, I'll be honest, before with the recording, I was like, if I mess it up, that's the video. But I feel like I've put so much effort into this that it's worth doing right. And we're a go. Excellent. So... Let's go back to the thrusters. We're going to go to not those. We want that one up here. And that one up here. And that should be external and external. Good. So now we just thrust until I'm out of everything. Well, no, until my solid fuel boosters come out and I eject those ones and then we go from there. So I feel confident in speeding up time. <laughs> what? Why is that? Why has that happened? Why doesn't it like times four? Why is it not like times four? I don't understand what's going on with that. Why doesn't it like it? Why is it? No! What happened with the times four? <laughs> no! Ah, oh, we're just gonna have to do it. We're just gonna have to do it old fashioned way. So times two was fine. It, did, it liked times two. <laughs> oh, man. I really, really need this to work. I really, really need it to work so bad. I just need it to work. So we go with times two, okay? Times four. I don't know why times four. Is it because it's got to make more adjustments? Because I don't know if you saw the triple main sails I had at the bottom. They were flapping around and they shouldn't have been flapping. Normally when your engines on your spacecraft flap, <laughs> it's a bad thing. They should be straight, not flappy, straight. So, oh. <laughs> okay, let's try again. Here we go. We're going to go times two. SAS on, RCS on. Max thrust. And we're off. Good. We are off again. Third time. If this fails, I'm out. We we'll try it again another time. <laughs> I really want to get into orbit and show you what I've done with the ship, though. Okay, so we we'll add on another one, and then we need to go this one and that one to here. Good. Now we go times two, and we are sorted. Times two. And it should be fine. 
times four was too much. I dare not try times three, but we know that times two is fine. I mean, it's a lot of spacecraft. I am launching what is essentially, I feel, a space station. <laughs> but it is going up in the right direction. I'm not just seeing anything yet. I'm just going to go and it will be fine. With times two, we won't have to wait so long. So realistically, what is 10 minutes? 10, it was 15 minutes when I exploded, but that included the start and the explosion and the flying time on times one for a bit. So it shouldn't take that much longer to get us up there. So hopefully it will be okay. <laughs> Oh, man. I want to tell you about what I've got going on, but I feel like I, I, I should wait on that. So in the meantime, we can just marvel <laughs> at how many ships I have flying around in space. So we've got a lot around the moon, a lot around Kerbin. None around Duna. That is Duna. No Minus. Uh, and we've got a few bits of mysterious junk floating around in space. And we've got a couple of travelers from the Spud series and Deathbox series who just aren't ever going to get got back. <laughs> Let's just go back to the launch and just take it easy. No one's screaming. They seem very calm. I don't have a pilot. I have an engineer, an engineer, and a scientist. Why don't I have a pilot? Does that mean that that's why it didn't work. I don't know. So I'm, I, I think I'm relying on the thrust to guide me. I don't think I've got really any pilot skills at all to get me where I need to go. Uh, is that good? <laughs> That's pretty much Kerbal though, isn't it? I'm not touching anything. Uh, I don't like how this is wobbling, but it's not breaking, you know? So... I'm still going to leave it on times two. It's fine. It's fine on times two. It's still going up. It's still accelerating. I am a little concerned, but not so much that it should be turned down. I don't think we need to go to times one. I think I just need to continue thrusting. <laughs> Do I sound like a professional? Do I sound like I know what I'm doing? <laughs> I don't. I think we can get away with losing these engines. Let's just double check. Oh, that's the wrong engine. Cheeky devil. Yeah, that section should be back down here. Oh man, good job I didn't jettison them. Oh man, that could have been really awkward. That one needs to be up here. Uh, okay, good. So, externals. Yep, externals. Yep. Okay. So, I'm going to turn the speed down. Why is it starting to turn? Let's just get ourselves back on back on target. Why are we doing a flip? Because I don't have a pilot is why. I mean, I just don't have a pilot in, on board. Don't hit an engine. It's going to hit an engine. It's going to hit. It's going to hit. <sighs> Jeebus. Jesus. Okay. So I didn't immediately die, but I don't have a pilot. So now we're going at a slight angle. Could I take a pilot from one section and get him to climb in? Yeah. Someone needs to get out. Engineer, EVA. Where are you? Jump off. There you are. Jump out. <laughs> Get out 
out of here. You ain't welcome. You ain't welcome. Yeah, you, we gotta make space. We gotta make space. So, you're out. You're out, buddy. But we need to go zoom back in and take control of the uh, of the spaceship again. No. No! <laughs> zoom in, please. Zoom in! Zoom in more. I need to get back to the rocket. I need to get back to the rocket. Arc. See, see, see what I'm worried about, about it running badly? No, not you, you friggin'. You're supposed to be dead. Why didn't you burn up in the engines? You're supposed to be dead. No. Ah, oh, the trouble is he's following the friggin' ship now. No, not you. The ship. Ah, oh, my days. I've got to move him away from the ship. I need you to die. I need you to just go away. Just leave. You're really screwing up my plan here. Ark. He said it. I just got to move the mouse around. Ark. Yes. Switch to. Ah, oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, so you're decelerating, but you are still going in the right direction, at least. Sort of. Okay, so the liquid engines are done. So let's lose them. Okay, good. Now we need to move that. And then we could fire the engines. Oh, God. Am I flipping or am I boosting? Did I just annihilate the other boosters? I look like I'm still going up. I look like I'm still going up. Okay, good. Oh, and I'm accelerating again. Fantastic. Ah, oh, man, fantastic. Okay. So we're still alive, even without... A... Why is there still someone... Now we have a pilot. Did a pilot automatically jump in? I did just kick someone out, right? I did just, like, jettison someone. Yeah. Car Brett Kerman is going to enter the re-enter the atmosphere at some speed. <laughs> You, you got you got to have a little bit of sacrifice going on. Okay, we're now moving with a pilot. We're back on target. We're accelerating. We're in good shape. I feel like I really want to turn the lights on, but I dare not zoom in and start clicking until things are just like a little bit more... I want to say stable. I want to say stable. Ooh. Man, jettisoning those boosters is so tense. Why is this game so tense? 28 minute video. Oh, okay. Definitely going for the longer videos nowadays, table. <laughs> so we have a lot of time for this next stage. I need to check my fuel levels. Okay, monopropellant, 1500 left of 2140. That's fine. Oxidizer and liquid fuel not being used. That's good. Solid fuel and electric charge. Why am I using electric charge? I don't know what I'm using electric charge on. Oh, the, uh, the stabilization disky things. Maybe that's them. We are now in orbit. So we should really get a lot of speed out of these boosters. I love how you can see my current orbit and then Carbrek Kerman. You can see that their arc is very different to mine. <laughs> oh, man. It gets better. It gets better with this ship. You're going to really like this. Oh, I hope you do anyway. <laughs> oh, so we just keep boosting. They all seem very calm, even though I made someone jump out. <laughs> volunteered. Volunteered. They volunteered to get out. That's what it was. Ah, oh, man. I'm so happy that things are actually working out now. I just needed a pilot. 
And so killing someone was the obvious choice. They're not dead. Don't worry. Their memory. We we we'll always remember. You know whoever what that was. <laughs> oh, I shouldn't read Discord during videos. What am I doing? Okay. I feel confident that we can go to times two. Oh, times five. Cannot walk faster than times one while the ship is under acceleration. Ah, okay. Then we are accelerating then, I guess. Maybe now is a good time to put on the lights. Uh, lights on. <laughs> Such a difference. <laughs> I really want to jettison the sections, but whilst under thrust, I can't. What do these mean? Full crew control. Signal strength, 100%. Data TX can transmit science. Direct connection to space center. Ah, okay. Will all of these things be useful, I feel? Okay, we're good. A little bit of heat being generated on those boosters, but... Are we out of orbit yet? No. I mean, it's, I mean, you can see that this is increasing a lot, though. So, I reckon by the time these boosters are done, we will be able to leave orbit, I reckon. Because there's still quite a bit of fuel left. I need to start checking other stages, though. Now, part of me thinks that we have a, a, a central tank in amongst all this that is full of liquid fuel, I think. And I do believe it's this engine uh, here. Yeah, you see that down at the bottom just by RCS? There's a little selected engine. That's my ace in the hole, that is. That's my engine that's going to get us where we need to go. Because this tank is full. This tank is empty, but it's going to borrow from somewhere else. It's going to be fine. No, no, that's not the central tank. This is the central tank. It's empty. We'll figure it out. Don't worry. <laughs> We'll be okay. Okay, so if you boosters are done. Oh, no. That's not what we want to do. Right, I'm going to go ahead and activate this engine. There we go. So it's getting fuel from somewhere. Deselect the engine. You... And then that is central core. No, these are not sections we want to... Oh, wait. No, we are at that point, aren't we? So we're not accelerating. I need to jettison these sections. What is that jettisoning? Anything important? Is there fuel in these tanks? I just... It's just not telling me. It's just not responding. Well, we can use... We can lose the solid fuel boosters. So let's just uh, do that. And then put these, no, not that one, these in and just send them. Oh, wow. They were big tanks. I hope they didn't have fuel in. No, they didn't have fuel in. Okay. That's not why I wanted to jettison. Let's try again. So it must be these two. In you go. I don't know what I just did there. Oh. Oh. No. A ma oh, another massive explosion. Oh, I've just taken the head. Oh, no. How is it still going up? We're okay. We're still going forward. The engine is still firing. We're still good. We've lost some crew. We've lost our lander. But we're still going. We haven't flipped. We're still going in the right direction. I'm going to have to do this manually. We still have some ship left. So, let's have a look. Disengage that. Hello? Hello? Go into a stage. Oh, my God. Can you just disengage? Oh, maybe I can't control it anymore. 
Maybe I can't disengage this. No, I've lost control. I've lost control. We're going to need to rethink... Uh, I think we need to rethink this science mode because I think I've got too much stuff going on. Ooh. I think we've got too much stuff going on, guys. I think I've... Uh, I think I've kind of screwed stuff up. I think I'm going to have to go sandbox mode. I, I don't think I'm good enough to continue this. I don't think the computer is handling it very well. And I don't know... I think that's what we got to do. We're going to have to go more creative. Ah, oh, I'm so... I'm so unhappy that I messed this up. I never got to show you. What an anticlimax. Oh, man. Well, if you want to see it, let me know what you think. And just, I mean, I'm really interested in tips. Um, I spent so long on that. I spent so long making that. Oh, killer. I'm in table. Thanks so much for watching. I'm going to start on sandbox mode, I think. I think I need to learn a few more things. In the meantime, I've been table. Take care, and I will see you again soon. Bye.